We're going to turn now. Our next guest has graced our TV screen for years as the lovable Zoe Johnson on Blackish in its spinoff, Grownish. Now, Yara Shahidi is getting her fairy wings as Tinker Bell in the new movie, <laughs> Peter Pan and Wendy. Yara, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of our favorites to have around here. Thank you for on always GMA. inviting me back. Absolutely, Are you kidding me? You know what? You played the first black Tinkerbell ever depicted in Peter Pan mm -hmm. in, a, in a retelling. So, what does representing that mean to you? Uh, it's really surreal and full circle because I started in print ads and commercials, and some of the first things I did were Disney ads, and I'd dress up as the princesses and different characters, but I was always the black version of a character mm. because none of them looked like me. And so to be a part of not only this movie, but really a movement of so many fairy tales being retold to look like our world is really exciting because those are the first stories we hear growing up. Very true. You also follow a legacy of so many strong actors who played Tinkerbell. How did they mm. inspire you? Oh, well, I mean, I love playing a character that has so much history, both within, you know, uh, stories and fairy tales, but also on screen. And so you have Julia Roberts, you have the animated version. But I think what was really fun was developing uh, a whole visual language for her. And so some influences that may be surprising are Josephine Baker. A lot of her performances mm -hmm. are things that me and the director looked at because she's so expressive with saying no words. And that was kind of the challenge of playing Tinkerbell was just chiming in fairy language yeah. the whole Let's time. Let's give everyone a look. Chickabell, I don't understand you. What are you saying? What she's saying is, I saved the day. You sort of saved the day. You saved part of the day. And I did a pretty good job at it. And it's not like you had any help at all. No, I didn't. I'm Peter Pan. I don't ever need help. You have a magical fairy that makes you fly. That's me. <laughs> that's me. We talk so often about how much representation matters, right? And mm -hmm. I think that that's also so crucial when you look at dolls. Yeah. You have not just one, but two Barbie dolls. What was your first reaction when you first saw that? For some reason, it didn't click that there would be a Tinkerbell doll. So I was so surprised. I thought people were sending fan art when my team oh. sent it to me, like, oh, that's cool. But I'd have to say my favorite sentence I never thought I'd hear was they said, hey, Yara, we used your last doll as a reference for this one. Mm. Well, that that's is just cool. a crazy thing. <laughs> yeah. I said, forget my diploma. Put that on my resume. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think that's something that's so cool, because like you're saying, it's something that gets brought into the home. I love the fact that that's what made it really real for me. Everyone that was getting it for their family members and their cousins and yeah. their loved ones um, because that lives on yeah. and yeah I don't know if I've processed what it'll be like to see people with little tinkerbells. I have to ask how did you get your diploma with so much else going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, just being a deep nerd, I think you know this about me. It gave the rest of the world meaning um, because I loved being able to go study what I was doing in the world and then go do it in the world. And so, yeah. I'm sure Harvard's mm. going. Yeah. <laughs> Tinkerbell. Yeah. 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 But you're also you're on the um, the current cover of the Digital People. Yeah. And you said this is the hard year of yes. Yes. The year of the hard yes. Yes. So so what does that mean and, and what are you saying yes to next? Ooh, that's a good question. So last year was my year of no. Uh, <laughs> and which I said no to about anything. So the converse of that was my hard yes, which was like I'm grateful to be in a spot with so much abundance, but even mm -hmm. saying yes to things that meant that they weren't always aligned with what was most fulfilling, even if they were great opportunities. And so I've been trying to really narrow down on what's like ultimately fulfilling as a 23 year old. And it's ranged from like the color yellow to anything involving music. So I went to Coachella and then I went straight from the Frank Ocean set to my TED talk because I just love music so much that I was like, it's worth the juggling of being wow. absolutely yeah. nuts in the desert and then going off. Um, so yeah, I think hopefully a lot more travel ahead and learning an instrument would be on my year. Oh, which one? Okay, so <laughs> I'm really into the glockenspiel, the, the, Whoa. the xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the chiming, it's Tinkerbell. You got it. <laughs> I think that made how it was where it came from. Was that I spent so much time listening to chimes that I kind of like, and I got a pretty one in my room, so I'll just be in there. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> uh, obviously, we love watching you grow up on Blackish and Grownish. What have you learned from your character, Zoe, over all these oh years? Oh, my goodness. I've grown up with Zoe, um, quite literally. I started when I was 
was 13. So now we're mm. 23 together. Wow. Um, but I think the biggest thing for me was knowing it's okay to mess up. When mm. I'm thinking about my on-screen journey with Zoe, I've learned a lot off-screen and I think every evolution of mine happened on an ish set. But Zoe is such a messy character and at times it's easy to be really hard on her, but I think she taught me to give myself space as a young person because I mm. feel like I carried this idea that you mess up once and you move on. And I would be really hard on myself if I was in situations where I'm like, didn't I learn this already? Didn't mm. I go through this lesson? And I think she's taught me to just kind of go with the flow. Well, I'll tell you right now, it never stops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over 50 and I'm still going, didn't you learn that? <laughs> it never stopped. <laughs> Like I said earlier, you're one of our favorites. We love having you here, Yara. Thank, thank you. And, and we're looking forward. There's so much more. You're just getting started. That's the great thing <laughs> about you. this. Disney's live action reimagining of Peter Pan and Wendy begins streaming this Friday exclusively on Disney+. Plus. Make sure you check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.